Hey, welcome to the channel where we show you how to put some prep in your step. Today, I want to talk about aggregation and the aggregate step inside of Tableau Prep. This is an area that a lot of people have some trouble with because with the features between desktop and prep being so similar, you would expect to be able to jump right into prep and use it the same way. Now, while behind the scenes, it's technically the same, in actuality and in practice, it's different. And that's because with desktop, when you do a sum calculation on desktop, it knows how you wanna aggregate that calculation based off of the dimensions that are in the view. Well, prep doesn't have dimensions in a view. It's just working with your data. So you can't just tell Tableau prep to sum because it's, it's looking at a row level. It doesn't know what level of detail you're gonna to wanna to look at. And that's the key piece to understand with the aggregate step. You're changing the level of detail of the data. So let's jump into it and see behind the scenes how it's really working. All right, so I've connected to my data here and I'm just gonna use the uh, Superstore data set. Um, it's easily accessible. It comes with everybody's copy of Tableau Desktop. So it's a good one to always use. Um, we're going to look at the orders table to really demonstrate what aggregation is doing. So first let's pull in a clean step that way just to see kind of how the data is structured. And you can already sort of see here that there are order IDs that are duplicated in our data set. And that's because the way that this is structured is it's at the product level. It's looking at every product that was part of an order and saying what is the sales amount, the metrics that are associated with that, profit quantity, um, the category, subcategory, manufacturer. So the level of detail of our current data set is the product level. Well, what if I want to look at the sales at the order level? Um, well, that's where the aggregate comes in and that's why we need to change the level of detail and change the granularity of our view. So let's pull in an aggregate step. And let's say I want to look at the sum of sales by order. And before I do that, let's just talk about this uh, layout just a little bit. So we've got two uh, sections here. We've got the grouped field sections and we've got the aggregated field section. So fields that I pull into the group fields are the level of detail that I want my data set to be and what I want the data to aggregate by. So if I pull in order ID, I'm saying aggregate my data by this order ID. And you can see now each of order ID only has one row. So it's grouping all of the order IDs together. And now for the aggregated fields, what I can do is I can pull in my sales now. And so all of the rows that are associated with this order are now being summed up into one sum, okay? So that's what this, this step is really doing. And it's, like I said, it's, it's a little different than the way Tableau Desktop works because you have to tell prep, this is the level that I need my data aggregated to. Whereas in desktop, you can drag your order ID field to columns or rows and drag your sum of sales to text or columns to rows if you're breaking it out into a bar chart. So that's the difference here. Uh, we don't have dimensions to break out our data on a chart. We need to do it inside the data set. Um, now, you the thing to also keep in mind with an aggregate step is uh, all of the fields that you want to carry out through the rest of the flow have to be included in this data set or in, this, um, in the grouped fields. For example, if I create a clean step now, it only brings in the fields that were a part of my aggregate. So if I wanted to see the sum of sales by order ID, but also wanted to keep the information um, behind it, like region and state, then I would need to bring those fields into my aggregate step, so that way they'll continue on into the rest of the flow. Now, now that I've got multiple fields here though, in the grouped fields section, this step is telling the data for every combination of this order ID and this state and this region, so give me the sum of sales. So you can look at things a few different ways. So example, I'm still looking at um, the order or the level of detail of the data is still at the order ID. But if I remove that, 
This is a higher level of detail, so less granular. So now I'm looking at some of sales really at the state level because the state level is more granular than the region level. And that's another thing to keep in mind is that when you're doing aggregations, you can't increase your level of detail. You can't look at it at a more granulated view than the data that you have available to you. You, you really are taking steps back and making the data less granular. Um, so just another thing to keep in mind with this aggregation step. So there's a couple of different things you can do with that. Uh, really for what I've used it for is understanding the key metrics that the business is going to be using and trying to pre-aggregate some of those things. So instead of pulling in every single row of data just to aggregate it at a higher level, I can do that in my flow here. I can reduce my level of detail in the flow and that way the output that's going into Tableau Desktop is uh, there's not information there that we don't need and it's more efficient because it's less data and some of that, that data is pre-aggregated for us. So for example, if I was going to do a really high level view, um, let's say if there's an executive that wants to see data every day, but they don't want to spend more than five minutes looking at it, just real um, high level uh, sales, orders, profit. That's all they want to see, right? So um, then let's say they don't even want to see it by state. Let's say they only want to look at region, sales, uh, orders, and profit, right? So let me move state out of the view. So for here, I've got my sales. So now I can pull in profit. And for orders, um, I can also, even though it's a string field, I can still aggregate my orders field. Now, what you'll notice is for numeric values, the default aggregation is sum. And for string values, the default aggregation is count. But when we took a look at the data set, we saw that there was duplicate values. And so I don't just want to count the order ID because that's going to return you know, an over count my orders. I want to do a count of the distinct order IDs to get me what my total orders are. And I can even go in and rename this total orders. So now we've got our uh, we've got our level of detail. We just want region and we just want sales, profit and total orders. So what I could really do now that our data set is clean like this is I could even just output this as my data source and create a very quick, simple dashboard that, it, you know, if it's something that's going to be static, if it's going to be sent out in, a, in an email every morning, something like that, this is nice and clean. And in the event that uh, somebody did want to go pull it up, it's going to load very, very quickly. Now, you also want to keep in mind, you know, interactivity and the power of Tableau Desktop. When you're doing, it, it can be really exciting to try to get in everything um, as aggregated as possible, but a lot of the flexibility of Tableau Desktop is going to come from the way that it works with aggregations and the level of detail and what the dimensions you have in the view. So it's something to keep in mind with when you're aggregating the data. For example, um, maybe the person who requested this dashboard only wants to see it at the region level, but uh, some of the stakeholders that are going to be taking a look at it or going in, they want to interact with the data. They want to be able to filter by state or by city um, or even the subcategory. So that's where we really have to you know, plan how we're going to aggregate our data and the level of detail that's going to be in here. So you know, maybe I need to bring in more detail. Maybe I need to bring in the state and the city. And my data source that's coming out is still going to be fast and you know, it's going to be efficient because I'm still only bringing in the data that I need to work with. I'm not bringing fields like manufacturing because I don't need to filter by manufacturer. Uh, I'm not bringing the item types. I'm not bringing in the ship date, um, the customer name. I don't need to look at any of those things. So bringing that into my workbook is just going to cause my workbook to work harder than it needs to work. Um, you know, so those are things to consider. Another thing to also think about when you're trying to think about you know, some of the calculations that are in Tableau Desktop. For example, I can't go in here and say, oh, I want to sum my sales. Tableau Prep doesn't recognize that function. You can only use functions that are aggregate functions inside of an LOD calculation because again, in Prep, you're changing the level of detail of the view. So, you know, how right here, 
I aggregated, uh, these metrics are aggregated by region, city, and state. And to make it simpler again, let's go back to aggregating by region. And even further than that, let's go back to sales only. So again, region and sales, I'm telling prep to give me that specific level of detail. If I wanted to do the same thing at the row level, um, let's go back one row here. And so if I wanted to get my aggregated sales by region, um, I can still do that in a clean step. We just have to use an, a level of detail calculation rather than the aggregate step. So we still have to instruct prep. So I want to fix it at the region level and I want the sum of sales. So now my sum of sales calculation still works because I'm telling prep, give me this aggregation fixed at the region level. It only recognizes this aggregation because I'm, I'm not trying to do a row level calculation anymore since I've specified the level of detail. So I can say this is total sales in region. And so now there's my total sales in region. If I look, this is, so the South region, 391, uh, 721. If I go here, when I pull in my region and pull in the sum of sales, it's 391, 721 for the South region. So again, you know, just think about um, how you're trying to structure data and how granular, how granular you uh, need it to be. That's really the key to understanding the aggregate step and how to implement it in some of your workflows. I know we briefly touched on the um, level of detail calculation, and that's something that I think once you understand how the aggregate step is working, then you can start to understand um, how to sort of mimic the level of detail calculations that you would be doing in desktop in your data set. And maybe there's some things that you can work into your flow, and that way you don't have to force that processing onto the desktop. Um, that's really uh, my rundown of the aggregation step. Um, if there's, uh, you know, other ways that you'd like to see it used, um, or maybe even a more in-depth explanation, let me know, leave me some feedback, and uh, I hope to see you in the next one.